I spent yesterday building frames. Let's go take a look. So here they are. These are 14 by 18s. And here I've got the base frame portion built for some 11 by 22s. These are two foot by four foot panels made out of masonite. Right up here, I finished 10 uh, 16 by 20s. And then there are a couple other random sizes here uh, that are just like base frames, but they need the perimeter wood put onto them. Here's some wood that I milled uh, for the perimeter portions. All right, well, the overcast weather has returned. Uh, there's also some smoke in the atmosphere, so kind of a hazy day. So you forgot your art stuff today, huh? I did, yes, I did. I'm, so I'm just gonna sit here and watch. And just sit and enjoy the uh, scenery. Yeah. All right, so I'm thinking of painting this right here. Uh, there's some nice reflections in the water. When I first got here, this was all mud, but now it's filling in. I'm gonna kind of move things around. I wanna incorporate these um, blue mountains in the background and maybe even just like a bit of a creek going off in the distance. So that's what I'm working with. I've got my tripod easel set up today and I'm actually gonna be working on a small panel. Uh, this is a six by eight. So here's the compositional idea. Main tree right here with reflection in the water. Actually, I might move this tree a little bit more to the left, uh, kind of opening up some space in the middle uh, so that the mountains will be more visible. All right, so I'm thinking of using this number 10 synthetic bright, just to give you an idea of the scale here. Um, it's a pretty big brush for a small panel.
All right, so I'm noticing something here that's bothering me. This water um, leading off into the distance, it's just too straight. It's like these two shorelines parallel each other a little bit too much. Uh, so I can mess that up maybe a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna load this brush up using a mixture of ultramarine and titanium white. Maybe if this was broken up a little bit. Okay, now I feel like I need to sort of define the mud a little bit because it's sort of blending in. I mean, in real life, it does actually blend in. The mud and the reflection sort of blend together. All right, so I've got yellow ochre, burnt sienna, and a little bit of titanium white. All right, so I kind of messed up this creek here a little bit. It was a little too perfect. And then I added uh, these yellow plants coming out a bit to add some variety um, and I think I'm gonna leave it there once again a quick six by eight turns into sort of a long painting it's probably 45 minutes so a bigger painting would have probably taken me about the same amount of time and the reason is the blocking goes faster but just sort of resolving the little details uh, solving a lot of the little problems takes just as long uh, but anyway, I had a good time. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you'd like to see some extra videos and help support the channel, there's a Patreon link down below. I've got a bunch of extra videos there and a material list. So check it out. And other than that, stay creative and I'll see you guys in the next video. How did that happen?